just another short uh, setup video. Here's a, a chart of an Australian stock. It's a daily chart. It's a pattern we see very, very often because in this particular case, if I zoom right out, what you'll find is this stock has uh, experienced quite heavy falls over the last uh, two years or so. Uh, throughout this period, quite strong. You can see up around the $9.50, $10 dollar mark down to where it uh, currently sits. So we see the very, very strong movement. And for anyone who's heard me talk before about my rule of V, what my rule of V states is the last thing a stock is going to do after such heavy falls is literally find a bottom and then just go cruising back up again to where it once was. It simply just doesn't happen. And what we uh, more often see is a period of where the stock will go through some sideways movement, some consolidation. And we're certainly seeing that with this stock now where it's literally finding a base, finding some support and moving back and forth to consolidate and, and really hopefully weed out a lot of the people that have um, purchased back uh, during that fall. If you just note here we've got a bit of a pattern forming here where we have this trough here and a similar trough um, often referred to as a double bottom forming and we want to see a break through this previous uh, peak here and we've sort of got that here but again if you consider my rule of V um, that's why I really don't like the, the double bottom pattern because it really goes against my rule of V and that, and that is that rule of Vs don't form. So whilst people refer to double bottoms as a medium term reversal signal, I actually don't find them to be that effective because often we'll find prices literally just tend to move uh, sideways. And as we move here, we can start to see some key levels being established as I'm just moved forward in time here. And what we're finding is that Certainly the dollar fifty has established itself as a key level. Two dollars a number of times the stock has uh, hit the two dollar level. Two fifty, good nice round numbers, and certainly three dollars was a resistance level here. Again resistance, and now that it's broken through, what we're finding is the stock is tending to, uh, I guess, congest and literally just uh, move around that particular level there. The stock really doesn't know what to do. Um, it has sort of broken lower a little bit here, but I'm not looking to trade this short because I. Uh, I like the idea of this consolidation uh, throughout here and I'm really looking to go long here to establish a good uh, sustained movement back high. And as we continue uh, to move on in time, still again hanging around the $3 level and finally we can see here very clear, a very clear break. Now you can't see volume on this chart but I can assure you that particular day had the strongest volume for three months. So we've got a very clear break from this uh, congestion sort of zone that we're seeing through here. Very clear break. I'm just going to apply my uh, exit signal here so we can actually track um, how this went for me. And uh, I'll just apply that on my chart here. And as we actually work through this trade, we can see that it has clearly broken from that $3 level and hopefully it maintains that break. And it certainly does. And now we can very clearly see higher peaks higher troughs. We've certainly broken clear of this consolidation through here and we've really begun the a good solid medium term uptrend as you can see. Um, and now that uh, line there is uh, simply um, that line there is simply uh, my exit for this good medium term uh, trade here. Uh, we're moving up to more recent times now and you can see that, the, that my indicator or my the line that I've got set there is well and truly away from the price, allowing that to uh, allowing the stock room to move and continue in its medium term uptrend. It's certainly something we'll talk about later when we talk specifically about exits. But this is more the setup, the more the fact that uh, we don't find V's form. We're going to see consolidation, sideways range trading, moving sideways. We're then looking for a very clear break, and we did see that on that particular day there. We uh, we went with it, we traded it, kept our exits uh, in the right spot. And sure enough, we have enjoyed a good solid uh, move higher as we've seen a good clear break from that uh, congestion zone. So the key here, again, just reinforces my rule of V rule. Stocks don't form Vs. They form inverted Vs all the time, unfortunately. They don't form a lot of Vs. What they're more likely to do is trade sideways, then we wait for that break higher. I'm sure that break may fail. We may have to wait for another break, but we're going to get in on um, good breaks and good solid uh, beginnings of um, sustained movements high. We'll probably get in on those more often than not and they're the sort of trades that we really enjoy because they can move uh, certainly a significant distance. 
what I'd like you to do is just if you have uh, some comments on this particular setup if this is something you've seen before traded before like the idea of please post your comments below and let's generate some discussion on this very simple setup